habit you must acquire. Keystone habit. Are you tired of your own mediocrity? Of not succeeding? And endlessly hoping that your life will change? Who wouldn't want his or her life to be better? I'm guessing we all aspire to improve in some way. But how? How is a big question. In order for life to get better, we must develop some positive habits. Listen up. As not all habits are the same, there are some that are considerably more likely to make a huge difference than others. Therefore, it is crucial that we learn to recognize these habits and nurture them. The power of habit author Charles Duhigg refers it as keystone habits. A keystone habit is a single habit that permits you to maintain other habits in your life. It's not much different from a regular habit. It just has the biggest potential to change your entire life. This is due to the fact that keystone behaviors set off a chain reaction that might have a domino effect and cause other habits to take hold. And many times, we aren't even attempting to establish all of those other habits. They are just simply a byproduct of the keystone habit. Let me give you an example. After living a sedentary life, one day, Ben decided that he wanted to make a change in his life. He discovered he spent all of his time sleeping and playing video games in his room. So, he decided to start a new healthy activity, biking. So he got a bike and resolved to ride two laps around his neighborhood five times a week. While doing his habit continually, he had no idea that his new habit would gradually develop other new beneficial habits. Ben used to be a heavy smoker, but after starting cycling, he found himself smoking less and less. Mike relied on cigarettes to cope with the stress of his job, but cycling provided a far better option. Because Ben was worn out after taking two laps, his sleep improved. He fell asleep faster and had fewer awakenings during the night. As a result, his energy level increased throughout the day. He became more productive at work and even received a promotion. He even began cooking as a new interest so that he could consume more protein-rich meals to improve his stamina and endurance. And because he was now preparing the majority of his meals, he began to save money because he wasn't eating out at pricey restaurants all the time. He was able to invest part of his savings and yielded a return. Ben transformed into an entirely different guy in just seven months. But he didn't try to make all of these adjustments right away. He only committed to writing five times each week. It's just that his commitment had a domino effect and he formed other habits in the process. This is the impact of keystone behaviors. A single change can trigger a cascade of others. These kinds of stories are not uncommon. Many people attribute their life turnaround to a single habit change. But when their keystone habit is removed, all other habits become less stable and may fully disintegrate and break apart. This is why you must integrate the positive keystone habit every day. Of course, although there are positive keystone behaviors, There are also harmful keystone habits. A positive habit may help you become a better person, but a negative habit might send you spiraling downward. As a result, it's critical that you recognize and break any present behaviors that may be holding you back. If you can stop a detrimental keystone behavior, you'll generally discover that the other negative habits fall away as well. Let me now introduce you to a few keystone habits that have the most potential to lead you to additional great habits. The first keystone you should strive for is any behavior from the health trinity, which is exercise, food, and sleep. All of these behaviors are likely to lead to additional positive habits, but they also tend to build on each other. A healthier diet, for example, leads to better sleep. However, Obtaining more sleep 
leads to a fewer urges and greater determination to stick to a diet. You can start wherever you want with the health trinity, and slowly, you'll end up building the other two health habits. Sleep, as well, is an important habit to master. For that reason, I believe sleep is the most important keystone habit. Why? Well, sleep has been linked to increased motivation, energy, and focus. With better sleep, you can gain self-control, which will make doing your other habits easier. So, if you're not optimizing your sleep yet, I highly suggest you try for at least one month. I guarantee you'll see a ton of positive changes in your life. Another important habit is to plan and track your activities. Sitting down for a few minutes to create a thorough plan for the day, or perhaps the entire week, might help you prioritize better. However, if you don't set any plans, you're more likely to drift through the day aimlessly. So, if you want to make any of your habits stay, you need to plan ahead of time. Another aspect that makes planning so effective is its strong relationship with tracking. Maybe you keep track of your workout progress. Perhaps you keep track of your financial status and where your money goes. The goal of tracking is to obtain true objective data. We are often unaware of how much we do or do not do on certain activities. However, having visible data can assist us in being aware of that. Allow me to demonstrate how this works. Assume you start keeping track of where you spend your money. For one month, you record every purchase you make. Then, you examine the data. If you enjoy chocolate, you may discover that you consume more than you imagined. You normally spend $6 on it every day, so it doesn't appear that that much money is spent. But when you sum up all of your purchases, you could find that you spend more than $100 every month. You see, our brains are not good at tracking everything, and we often forget to include something. In this case, a packs of chocolates. That is why keeping track of things is so beneficial. It frees up mental space and helps us to take a more objective look at what we're doing or not doing. So start tracking your behaviors to see where you've been deceiving yourself, and you will have a better chance of improving your circumstances. Meditation is the final keystone habit I recommend you adopt. Many individuals believe that meditation is a waste of time. However, after just a few weeks of daily meditation, you may expect the following benefits. Improved self-control. Increased attention span. There is less worry and tension. All of this is ideal for individuals who are working hard. Let me ask you a question. How frequently do you take a mental vacation from your regular life? As you can see, we are always preoccupied with something. We're usually occupied with school or work. And when we get home, we entertain ourselves by checking our phones. As a result, our brains are working overtime and are hence weary. Working out is only part of the battle if you're into fitness. Another aspect is to rest and allow your muscles to recover. And it is the recovery that permits muscles to regenerate their lost power and grow stronger. If someone does push-ups every day without rest, they will not make improvement. In fact, because their muscles are weary and strained, they are most likely to do less. That is why taking a break is essential. Likewise, our brains need rest. By meditating, you're giving that break to your brain. And it is this mental recovery that helps our brain to perform better. As a result, meditation makes doing other habits easier. So to make a huge impact and become a better person, I advise you to choose any of the keystone habits that I have mentioned. Consequently, you will find other positive habits chasing after you. No need to pressure yourselves with so many habits. Just do one keystone habit, and I'll assure you that your life will change. I bet you learned something new today. Please click the like button so more people can learn this and become more successful. Subscribe to the channel 
to keep improving and growing. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.